Hey everybody, welcome to this two minute techie tip, um, uh, which is designed to build our capacity to create, communicate, collaborate, and think critically, and to use technology in an authentic manner to support learning. So I have two examples here um, of the same kind of a thing, and, and the idea that I want to present is new ways to use an old friend. Um, Google Docs has been around for quite a long time, but this is kind of a new twist that I am seeing using Google Docs as um, the term I want to use is, is a lesson launcher. So essentially, all those resources that we as educators collect and, and have um, most often at our fingertips, but it might be in different places, they're collated here. And the, and the the learner is invited in um, to take part in those resources uh, in, in a more organized, prescribed manner. So let's just go through this so you can see what I mean using Google Docs as, as a lesson launcher. So this is um, probably a fourth grade level, and um, the topic is um, geography, earth, and action. So kind of different things happening with the earth. So in this column is um, kind of like a do me. So things to do, and then this is um, responses from the student. So what the teacher did is use Google Docs, created a table, and pulled together a YouTube video. Let's see if I can open this up and um, have this open up nicely. Um, I, I would bet. Um, that this has been a, a great video to use um, so you can see how that's going to work um, that they have used in class. Well the twist might be that this might be sent home or done the day before um, a traditional class is being taught. So possibly the students are given this to work through before anyone even says, hey, fourth grade geography, we're going to be talking about different um, earth actions, different kinds of um, things that happen with our earth. And I want you to go through this document. So they're going to come to this and, and watch this video. She gives all of the resources here. And then here is a way for a learner to react. So I learned makes me think. After watching this video, the student is going to be asked, notice that the lines that form as the snow is breaking apart from the mountain, what do those lines indicate? So depending on how this document is shared, the learners can have their own copy to react to, or it can be even in a shared document, depending on the focus of the lesson. So let's look at a couple other examples. So here's an article that the teacher might pass out um, might on paper, but instead they made it a PDF and here's an article from the New York Times that learners can read and then respond to over here. Um, here the teacher used a thing link which is just awesome. I'll open that up and basically all it is is you use a picture of whatever your topic is but then you pull together again all of those resources that we have and here is um, each little circle is a link to something um, an article, a video, a um, graphic organizer. So you can just see how simple the concept is that students at their own pace can come and explore all of these resources. So here after they click on the thing link um, the educator has them go to this document and then add a row, list one thing you learned about avalanches, and um, so that's just going to further the discussion in the classroom. Um, here's a blend space, which is similar to ThingLink, but again, resources are organized. So rather than, gosh, where is that great video that I had um, and trying to find the URL, um, Educators today need to collate these resources in ways that are going to be helpful for the learner. But you can see how 
Um, students can go at their own page, pace, they can respond to questions, they could go above and beyond, um, develop their own project on Earth in Action. So then here is one last example um, about an image and the uh, um, educator is asking what um, that is all about. So here, let me then, I will show you one other example. So this is a fairy tale unit and this might be maybe third grade, maybe fifth grade, um, but the lesson is put together just normally, but the Google document is again a lesson launcher. So here's a video about fairy tales. Um, and then click on the, and then again a resource here about fairy tales and animal stories. And the learner has access to all of these stories um, on their own. So maybe it is uh, when they're at home at night or, or if the child is sick. Um, this is all uh, available to them. So here, um, the educator can have uh, learners compare and contrast and write either in this document or make their own document or a link. You can even put in a link to another document. But if we start to think a little differently about how to use resources that we have available, and a Google Doc is the perfect resource to do this, the sky is the limit. For instance, forms can be linked. Um, so here you can do an assessment right from your Google Doc or your lesson launcher to uh, assess formative and or summative. Um, where are they? So your entire unit really can be structured within a Google Doc or a lesson launcher. You can add resources as you go. Um, and all of your awesome things that you typically use for instruction are in one place, can be shared with the learner, and um, it's a far more powerful experience because they can go back. They have access to everything. Um, they can use it as a study guide. Um, so that would be about it. Thanks for watching, and uh, keep on learning.